the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Tuesday of the fourth week in Easter, our entrance antithon, let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, enfolding ourselves in God's mercy as we pray. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we, grant we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and some Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. They shall note when people are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. 
Now the feast of dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of this Gospel wipe away our sins. So, brothers and sisters, we have the beginning of the Gentile mission here. And it's important for us to understand, uh, understanding the living nature of the church generation after generation, that in our first reading, in this work of um, the Cypriots and the Cyrenians beginning to proclaim Jesus to the Greeks, and bringing many believers to faith, um, then the church in Jerusalem authorizing the sending of Barnabas, and then Barnabas and Paul teaching the church at Antioch for a year is uh, the home place of the second or third bishop of Antioch, Saint Ignatius, who we can expect to have been present here being taught by these original apostles. It's good to note that it is in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Doesn't say they began to call themselves Christians, but they are being called Christians. We should also understand by the year 107 to 110 AD, St. Ignatius of Antioch is calling the church Catholic, universal. But in the same place where they first began to call Christians, the church itself is beginning to call itself Catholic. And once again, this is the church that cannot be taken out of the hand of the Father. Sometimes um, we have, uh, are assaulted by all of the sinfulness within the church. Um, but we are not justified because of our own holiness or because of our own efforts simply by the blood of the Lamb, the bridegroom himself, Jesus Christ. And he assures us as members of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church 
that more than just the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, but that no one can take them out of the hand of Jesus and also being in the Father's hand, no one can take them out of Almighty God's hands. We have nothing to fear, but every day to let the Spirit dwelling within us perfect us in the person of Jesus Christ that we may grow more and more into the likeness of the risen Lord Jesus. Amen. Alleluia. Attentive to the voice of the one who calls to us, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life. As we respond to these petitions, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the leaders of Christ's earthly flock, especially Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our bishop, and all of our brother bishops in communion with the Pope, that they may be faithful shepherds in his name, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the church may treasure the many colors and cultures of the family gathered by its shepherd. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all people may hear the divine voice calling them to life and peace, not listening to any other voices, but only the voice of our one shepherd. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our works may plainly reveal our faith in the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of God of the Diocese of Gaylord, especially the parishioners of St. Paul and St. Monica, that in the spiritual communion we receive every grace and blessing from heaven. In the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus our Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our beloved sick may experience the healing strength of God's hand upon them, that all who are in need of healing, whether in mind, body, spirit, or heart, may find the one true and eternal font of healing through the power of the name Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our beloved dead may live forever in the unity of the Father and the Son, especially Susie Heron, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray for the souls in purgatory, for those souls who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. And for all of us gathered here, the taking from this altar, Jesus, who shares himself with us, that we become by his power, his living sign, of his hand reaching out to save, calling the world to life through his holy name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Father of your people, in Christ the Lamb you have made us one flock of many members. Hear us as we gather in his name and strengthen us to show plainly in our works our faith in the one you sent who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
by the mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord, our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Who him with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this many more the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life.
our communion unto them, the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure us for eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you once again, brothers and sisters. The time is drawing much closer to when we will be um, gathered together again in this Eucharist. Um, pray for that to happen. Um, and brothers and sisters, just know that you are loved and in our prayers daily. And so let us pray together as you pray in silence. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Inebriate me with your love that I may absorb your in that I may absorb in your interests and your will. Absor absorbed so as to be unmindful of my ills and petty cares, unmindful of weariness and pain, heartache and disappointment, heedless of the lash of cruel words and patient under wrongs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus Christ is risen today.